out my equipment as I get ready to do the Trans America Trail next year. A little bit of, well, the eastern portion I'm going to hit. Uh, try to hit from Chattanooga to, to somewhere in Oklahoma. I'm not sure quite where we can get to. In uh, or about a week or a week, a couple of days, I think it's all I'm going to have. Anyway, this is a nice little park. I tell you, I live next to the parklands. Love coming over here riding my bike. And so you could hit, uh, I think it's 20 miles one way. So you could do 40 miles, go one way, turn around, go back to the way you came. I got 40 miles and you never had to freaking get out in traffic. Now they got mountain bike uh, parks and then also got some uh, some you know, stables, some horse stables that border the property. It's not part of parklands, but it's sure nice. You got fishing lakes in here, and you got some some sports complexes and sports fields, and you know, some just some nature hiking. They got place for hikers only, and place for all well, the bike places are hikers and bikes, but no places for motorcycles. You got to ride on the road. It's one thing I wish Louisville had. I wish Louisville had just a little place where you could uh, ride your dual sport or your enduro or your all-terrain vehicle. Eh, this new craze of folks not you know, crazy about emissions. They don't like the freaking power sports. But I do, I, I like the planet. I believe we should do everything we can to preserve it, but I also like getting out on my motorcycles too, as well as my bikes. I almost toyed with the idea of just playing with my mountain bike. Definitely get myself in better shape on mountain biking, but I like the motorcycles. You can the longer distance, I like street riding too. That's why I brought this one. My brother-in-law wanted me to buy another bike to do some longer distance touring with him. And now when I did that Tell the Dragon, I think we rode for about six hours straight. Stopping here and there, but I like to do some more longer tours. That's why I got this thing. So I plan on putting a bigger top case, about a, about a 48 liter top case that they actually they got them now the modular they'll expand out to 48 liters and they'll collapse down to you know, around 40 liters or something like it and then put some shad uh, s35 side cases they're all those of the aluminum I think it's just a part of its aluminum look pretty nice they're expensive I love the factory cases that come with Honda with these little bikes but I only have 27 liter side cases. I'd like to have something a little bigger. Now I do have Nelson rig. I think they're 25 liter side cases, but I'd rather have hard cases for this thing. But they would work in a pinch. Everybody's out enjoying this nicer weather. I bet you they still don't have the mountain bike trails open because it's just been so freaking muddy. We've had so much rain here in Kentucky today, this year. Way over average. It's like every Friday, I think, the last two or three months, it's rained. So about two or three days a week, it's not raining. Every day, every other day, it's raining. Or every other time, it's raining. Yeah, sometimes they come out here and watch folks flying, you know, they're out here kiteboarding and flying kites. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think they're going to let them turn. Anyway, so I love coming over here. This is just one part of the parklands. I go to another part of Turkey Run because that's where the, most of the mountain bike stuff is. 
I ride a road bike, uh, road bicycle that is, a bicycle, and then a, a mountain bike. I'm going to try to get some footage of that too for my little channel. I'm not looking to do a whole lot of subscribers, but it's more for me to document what I did. Share with families and friends. If I do get subscribers, that's a bonus. But, uh, you know, uh, when I, we did that Tell the Dragon, we, we also came back. We went down through Cherokee. That's some beautiful scenery. I'd love to have had a camera. That was cooked up correctly. To capture some of that video. But we also run into a, there's a controlled elk herd that they have right at the entrance of the Great Smoky Mountains. I saw about 40 elk. And I tell you what, I'd love to have had video of that. They were, you know, you've always heard the, the grass is greener on the other side of the, the fence of the road. <laughs> that's what they were trying to, that's what they were trying to cross the road. <laughs> they had people out there you know, try to hurl them back the other way. They had other intentions, and that was kind of nice to see. Cherokee is another kind of interesting place. It's down there, I guess. Cherokee Indian Tribe. I guess they got a reservations. And going through there, and they had some type of festival. It's all them. You know, they were dressed up in like sports attire, but they had like long poles, like spears, and I don't know what the heck they were doing, but it looked interesting. There's so many things to do. That's why I can't wait till I retire, man. I'm not going to be the one who that sits, uh, let's go, man. That sits uh, on the rocking chair on the porch, man. I'm going to be doing some things as long as I'm capable. It's killing me right now. My wife is tired, retired. She's a little older than me. I married a little older woman. It's okay. You know, you never know. You never know how love's gonna go there. I had to mature quite a bit. I went through several relationships before I found the right one, and she definitely was the right one. Been married to her for 25 years. But she's already retired, so through that situation, most of my friends and stuff that we hang around with. They're, almost, they're also a little older, so it's killing me not to be retired. They're like, you know, they've had pretty decent careers. I've had a great career, but most of my career I can contribute to my wife. Now, I've had to go do it, but she had to motivate me and support me and kind of tell me I'm capable of doing much more than I thought I was. Well, it helps having somebody support you. But anyway, so I've got a, some friends that or mayor of, um, oh, what the heck's the place up in Alaska? Oh, uh, not Ketchikan, but uh, another little town up there. I'll think of it in a minute. But anyway, so they live up there half the time, and then they, they live in Florida the other half the time. And uh, ask us to go on a cruise with them, and I couldn't do it because I'm working. And then there's so many other things I want to do. Like I said, I like doing the Appalachian Trail, I like hiking, and I've done two trips there. I don't plan on doing the whole thing all at once, but I'd like to go down for three or four weeks at a time. Yeah, let's go. All right, it's about as crazy as I get. I didn't wander out to fifth gear. But anyway, so uh, there's some things I'd like to do. I'd like to continue doing some hiking. I'd love to finish the Appalachian Trail. I'm in North Carolina right now. I've been in the last couple of years. I've been battling some feet problems. Of course, I'm a little overweight. But not helping the feet problem. This year, I'm trying to get in a lot better shape and hopefully I start to get in better shape and something either happens to Susan or something happens to me that stops me from doing my routine and once I stop, I revert back to my old habits. It's a battle. 
but I'd like to get down to at least 175 before I do the uh, Transamerica Trail. So that's like a lot. Alrighty. Slow down a little bit, make sure you can get out. But that's all like, you know, doing the Appalachian Trail still. You hiking and carrying your own stuff you put on your motorcycle. And you still gotta work though, man. Riding dual sport and it's uh you know on some trails and some um, some gravel roads and dirt roads and yeah, as well as some a little bit of asphalt. I think 15 to 20 percent is probably asphalt. But uh, yeah, it's kind of the same principle. I like getting out in the woods, man. It freaking re rejuvenates me, rejuvenates my soul. Get out in the woods now.